Hi YouTube. My pump will be off in a second. I just washed my hands. So um, I was out feeding my kitty and Doug made a bonfire and he was able to pick her up. Well, I call her my kitty, but she was a wild kitty that had babies. So we have critters to contend with around here, <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, I got to go back out in a while here and um, she's got a litter box in the motor home and clean that up. Put more food out. I gave her some food and milk this afternoon and it was kind of hot so I put her in the shade and yeah, she's having a good day. Go, I'll go out and spend a little more time with her. She gets lonely, you know, so. You know, I miss her too when I don't see her. She's a cute little thing, so, <laughs> yeah. I just told Doug, I go, I'm gonna um, make a video and go out and clean their litter box or go out and clean their litter box, take a shower and make a video and you can be a part of it. And he said, do you want me to wear camouflage? And I'm like, whatever you want, you know. <laughs> But um, he's doing me a favor, but a guy also called, uh, asked if he had any slot cars, because like, uh, like collector things, um, he looked for them, but he couldn't find them right away, because we got some like uh, different old things, and some even stuff that is going to be passed on to his daughter wants some collector things toy car stuff and she's got two sons and my kids and whatever but lots of lots of collector toy things you know which is um I did not know uh there's a lot of people that have some weird ideas like um toy collector people let's just say children's toys children and toy collectors <laughs> so yeah I um, was watching face the nation this morning and there's a secretary of commerce of the United States Nina Omondo um, was talking about giving people health advice how there's the ones that are poked with the serum are having like uh, anger issues with the unpoked. And it's like, oh, oh, so you're supposed to be in charge of our finances that you put towards companies in our names with our social security numbers and you're the secretary doing that job for the people as an employee in the financial field and you're giving me health advice hmm how does that work and how does it and how has it ever worked if you went to a doctor that you do not require a second opinion even from an informed professional within the same hospital or clinic or a prof or a specialist with a with a regular practitioner that type of thing even you know two minds um collaborating on one thing but there's one side of this situation that doesn't get to have a voice and the others that do concerning laws that they take our last name in all capital letters with our social security number in dog latin and make it so we actually don't even exist as people only slaves with our names being used by them in a financial situation which is um, called Nasara Gasara where all our means and funds put together the people themselves are actually billionaires we the people each one of us literally have well over millions and millions of dollars that our families have invested in this government. So they say govern. They don't govern me. Nobody nobody governs me except for my father in heaven. So I just wanted to make that clear for that Nina um, 
so-called Secretary of Commerce. You don't you mind your own business, woman. You don't mind mine, especially when it comes to my physical being that my soul resides in. You don't tell God's equipment what to do, lady. Or no, no, no. I can't call you lady. Bean. You know, jelly bean. You know. Okay, that's enough on that. <laughs> so anyway. I wanted to say hello there's you know I'm just having a day it's a wonderful day actually I mean and I wasn't even irritated and I don't you know and I might even act more pissed off than I am because in the end of it all a lot of it's so laughable and my theatrics just make the day go faster for me you know that's about it <laughs> so yeah that's true too because Doug's always trying to get me all depressed and upset or afraid, you know, like people in Africa. And I'm like, but what if they're just like the people you mentioned, like Schumer and Pelosi and whatever? I said, what if they're just like empty vessels and they really don't matter? And if they're God's children, that energy, he's going to take care of them anyway. And he's talking about the people in China um, that meditate and meditated for 20 years. And then I'm like, and then if they know God, they know that they probably don't want their flesh either. Because we know we will be capable of making our own flesh in the future. If we do what God promises here, we'll have those capabilities to do what we want. And the fallen angels do not have those capabilities of ascending. They just do not. There's a special place for them, all right, and they will exist. They don't do anything they want to do if they think they have the energy. So, oh, that's another thing he always tries to tell me that he's robbing my energy. I'm like, what? You know, part of my, like, I, I stay up late, get up early, and nobody wears me down. Actually, I wear them down. I'm like, or I'm like hyper, you know, or can't you tell type of thing, you know? It's like, who's going to wear who out and how? what you know they can only temporarily have fun shit i can have fun night and day <laughs> you know lay there and wake and just think you know <laughs> excuse me i dropped my cigarette out of laughter you know <laughs> yeah they can do things to me physically oh well such is life you know I hope everybody's doing well, you know. Don't be upset. Don't let their fear tactics get to you. And even even with the division and the separation tactics, hey, if you're real, you're real. If you're not, it's not. It doesn't matter. It really does not matter. You know, you'll be okay. Take it from one who's been there before. <laughs> more than once so just believe what i'm saying um if you if you're hearing god in my voice i know you're believing me and if you're not that's okay that's okay too i really don't care what you think me because there's nothing not to like and if there's something wrong with you like that well then there you go that's who you are you know so anyway I don't do pretenses very well with people. I'm not good at pretending anything. Um, I'll tell anybody, you know, I'll love you as much as you're lovable, you know. And if you bring the unlovable out in me, you're going to take what you deserve. And I, it may take a while for me to get there. And depends on the delivery, on how God wants me to live. If it's an accident, that's on you, you know. If it's from God and it's an accident, I can't help that at all. There's times I'll be mean on purpose and that's for me. But I make that known too. God doesn't want me to, but I'm going to tell you this right now. You know. So anyway. <laughs> Seriously. Um, and, 
and let me remind everybody when I'm speaking, I'm speaking to the fallen and verbally saying it does reach their ears and I'm willing to help my fallen brother and sister on this planet if they don't want help and they don't want to ascend as that part of the um, marriage of Christ within their own part, the bad part, becoming good as man and wife. Because there's already a good set. God's set just fine. He's just giving his son of perdition and his offsprings the opportunity to graciously understand where their energy comes from or not be able to have any. There's the difference there, you know, really is. So, Personally, I'd rather be able to learn instead of be stuck in one mode. And what it is is it's like, okay, you got two sets of one bad team, man and woman, one good team, man and woman, and they decided to, and they're all like twins, so trade, and then they, the older ones could slave out the younger ones because they didn't know any better and take advantage of them so they really wouldn't have to work or do anything. And through the generations like that. But the only thing is, is the good ones were the only ones that were truly of God and the bad ones were the Satan mindset with only a short time to do what they wanted to do. So they traded a temporary situation of thinking they had control for what God's kids get is the ability to create for themselves without having to use God's materials. They're not an energy drain. They're a positive. And we don't need the negative. It's like God. God does not need the negative to be positive. And that's all positive. That's nothing but creation. That is not destruction and decay. And um, trickery and deceivement and out and out lies, you know, it's the truth. Yes, we're, we're born in God's image. And we are, in a sense, creators in a small essence of what we gifts we will have. If we do his will here, if we can do his will here and we do have free will, if ours is in tune with his, we will have the ability to have our own in the future because we will be responsible beings. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you do it right, the possibilities are endless. So... And that's the truth. And of course, God knows everybody ahead of time. So there really is nothing to be all freaked out about and stuff like people get so upset. I play. I really do. But um, I know better, you know. So. I, don't, I don't like the lies and the scams and the shams. And yes, there's people like, um, I saw a video of, person I watch that they're about ready to get physically ill, sick, and vomit from all the stuff that's going on. Oh, I understand. And they want you to feel that way. But you just got to remember, a weirdo's a weirdo. Let him be a weirdo, you know? But you know what? If you're, if you're around a weirdo that didn't pretend they were a weirdo at first and the weirdness just kept getting worse, well, then you really do have to ask God for a continuous guidance through your life every second of your day. And I'm not playing there. That's a continuous thing when you're dealing with that. That's um, the direct negative force. And it even can pretend to be pleasant, but in those times, they're just taking a break. That's all that is. It's not like they're peaceful or nothing. 
So if you can pleasantly give them, like, um, go give them a donut. It's just what they need. Love them things. You know, <laughs> whatever. Just tell them like it is, whatever. I love them occasionally, but they, I do realize how sickening they really are and what they do to you. So you better make sure your body can handle it before you, it's like doing a drug. I'm going to pound a donut today. <laughs> no, I never pounded nothing. <laughs> but sounded good anyway. <laughs> That's about the same equivalent, though, you know. Anyway, um, oh yeah, there's, you, you know, like always, lots of stuff on people's minds, you know, but what are you all up to? Hey, write it in the comments, you know, what's going on in your place of the world? I know England, they're really playing a number with them people, like with their food shortage, shortages and stuff and Around here, it's just like, you know, they're using, in Wisconsin, they passed the law without even the people having a, a voice. They just passed it without it even going before the people passed it in the law where they can use what they call, um, oh, what they call it stuff, like goo, um, human remains to uh, fertilize their fields. And I'm like, well, yeah, there's people that actually... Um, defecate in fields too, different parts of the world like China and different places but uh you know and I'm like oh yummy you know but anyway um that's ludicrous you know one horse in one year even a chicken will have enough um manure and vitamins and nutrients to take care of a garden one horse has enough manure in a year to produce enough um, fertilizer for many gardens or fields of crops, you know, and acres and acres of land, just one horse. And they're saying there's a shortage of food and stuff. The only reason there's a shortage is because they're paying the farmer to take subsidies to fail, literally. And people like Governor Tim Waltz in our state, he's a, he's a total disgrace to all humans. These people are treasonous. Um, the best thing anybody can do, um, first, yes, upping your vocabulary in every way you can and getting to the, where did this word come from and where when was it first used? And if you hear another word that correlates with that word, you know, go on it, or even if it has another letter to begin it or end it, you know, however it sounds kind of similar, check it out. You might be on to something. The more languages around the world you can understand, the more you're going to understand how they use language against us, you know. Um, oh, and I was going to say something on that, which I will get back to it. But, uh, yeah, it gets me gets me going them and their their word games you know some of it's just simple and slight but um but like if I want to get down with some word games I'm a, I'm a master at that stuff so you know not the ultimate master but really really good and I put some feeling behind it even in my electronical writing that that is it's powerful I know it is um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> whatever, whatever I was talking about. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, if I don't get back to it, I don't get back to it. I might remember later and bring it in or not. Or if you write it in the comments, if you were interested, I'll respond to it. <laughs> I'll get back there, <laughs> you know. <And> so. <laughs> mm, I had a good supper last night. Um, uh, ordered it. Uh, genuine, 
General Tao's chicken, pork fried rice and an egg roll, and uh, um, and broccoli, and uh, fortune cookie. It was a really big meal, but it was great. It's you know I only ate that, so <laughs> all day. That's what I usually do is eat one meal, you know. But that was really really big actually. I was surprised, but the rice is really fine too, you know, I, and it's so good, really good. It doesn't even have to be pork fried rice, any fried rice. I love that, and I love egg foo young and um, chow mein and some stuff I just make my own, like chow mein. I make that once in a while, you know. So I don't know if you've ever had cream of tuna. But you make cream of tuna and put it on chow mein noodles. Oh, that stuff's good, really good. I didn't have any chow mein noodles. I just had the rice and the chicken and broccoli. And so it was really, really good. I, I loved it. So. <laughs> Gave my dog some too. Because I have to warm her because it had uh, sugar in it. I don't usually give her sugar, but once in a while, and then, you know, I warm her. <laughs> so, every few months, you know. So, yeah, no, I am due to do that. I haven't let her have any sugar for a while, though. It's been quite a while. I hate giving it to him though, because any any medicine like that, it's like weird, you know. So, to me, or giving it to animals, you know, it's it's strange, you know. Aspirin isn't strange to me because it's made out of willows. Real aspirin is made from willow bark. Any kind of willow. So if your heart hurts and you're out in the wild. There's even bushes that are push, pussy willows, they're called, and there's another name for it, but um, commonly because they're fuzzy little buds on there, and they look like little kittens, like the fur of a kitten. So my adopted mom had a cat named that when she was a little girl. <laughs> Yeah, I was talking about the people that push fear on you. If you have somebody in your life that's trying to do that, you know, it's like um, they don't really take your energy. It goes out into the ether, their bad deeds or whatever they're saying. And it's not even a matter if you re react on that, um, you know, not to get upset on a constant basis or anything. But every once in a while, you just got to say, you know, shut it off. You're not talking like a person with God in their heart because that's not the way we talk, you know, towards other people. Like, why do you keep bringing up, bringing it up? And they'd be like, um, why do you talk about the things you talk about? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, I said, and that's why I'm quiet a whole bunch of the time and I don't say anything, you know, because... It does, if it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't go anywhere, you know, that's the way that is. I guess that's really what was going on today that I wanted to talk about. And I'm glad that the events led up that I could express all that because <laughs> it's been kind of unbelievable. Oh, 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 here's something too. And I told Doug this, you know, uh, ability to dance. I mean, not that a Satanist can dance or whatever, but there's a grace from God that comes in like the waltz or if you're dancing. Um, there, There's a grace of God that comes through in the timing and the music and the same with the voice, but there, you know, that also can be a Satanic thing. But um, there, there's a... There's a certain grace, like doing the waltz. I was waltzing the other day, and um, Doug kind of waltzed, almost. Um, 
I split the beer though because he put his beer can on my floor and I kicked it with my heel. But it is a three-four timing and it's a it's a intricate dance and uh, um, takes some um, takes a lot of something to be able to dance it. And I love like the Viennese Viennese waltz. Like I told Doug, now that's one thing that Italy did right. <laughs> and they did. It's like um, almost 13 minutes long. So, and there's a, um, let me see, what's that? I think that's Strauss. No, 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 no. I guess I don't remember. Strauss is Blue Danube. Or blue D A U B D A U. Um, I do believe it's German. Could be Danish, but yeah, some kind of northern Scandinavian. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the Viennese waltz. Um, maybe that's Bach. I don't know. I'll got. I'll have to go check. But anyway, there's different waltzes. Those are two that I just love. And then the polka is kind of like a waltz, only a little nuttier. You know, but that's uh, super fun to dance. So, okay, everybody, I'm going to let you go. Um, It's um late enough and getting cool enough, I think. I'm going to go out and clean that litter box and get cleaned up and rest. I think I'm having pizza for supper. <laughs> so. Just frozen ones. So. Well, peace and love to the whole world. Thank you for joining me and um, have a wonderful week ahead. I plan to. Peace.